Hey guys, welcome back to the 164 show. My name is Peter. I'm your host as always and welcome to another episode of the 164 show. I've been super slack with my car reviews lately so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do have a really interesting one to show you guys but before we begin I just want to say a massive thank you to our ongoing sponsor Kobo Displays and for the month of December we have an amazing opportunity for you guys to get some discounts for your Kobo Display orders no matter where you are in the world. So if you want to get a discount up to 10% on your order for any Kobo Display orders from Kobo Displays .com.au please hit up the link down below in the description and use the code the164show as you're checking out to get that 10% off your order. Thank you so much for your support guys. Thank you again to Kobo Displays for supporting this channel and beyond. Let's get into it. So today I want to talk about a Matchbox Redline Club. So Matchbox also does a Metal Creations kind of club, similar to the Hot Wheels Collectors Club and the Redline Club. Um, and they had recently in 2022 released a collaboration with Tesla um, of all car brands and then released an eco-friendly version of their Tesla. I believe, what is it? The Model 3? I was going to say Model 3 but it could be Model Y or whichever because uh, they all look the same. Anyway, so it comes in this corrugated recycled uh, box, um, still sealed as you can tell, and it's obviously recycled. The whole theme of this car is that everything is recycled. The car itself, the box, the packaging. This is the inner box of the Tesla, what is it? Roadster, my apologies. It was a Roadster, not a three or a Y. I do like that better because I think the Roadster does look a lot better. So outside of the box, what are they trying to sell you guys? What is it that they recycled? Um, <clears throat> let's see. So it's, it's made in Thailand, like a lot of uh, higher end Hot Wheels are always kind of made in Thailand. You do see the lower end premiums and main lines made in Malaysia, but Thailand seems to be holding a lot of the Metal Creations cars. Okay, so on this side you have built with vision, cast with care. So remember when they build die cars, it's, it's called casting. They put it in a mold and they, and they, when they say it's cast with care, Anyway, let's stop talking about the box. Let's get straight into it. Open her up. Cool. Inside the box, this is how it looks like. You have the car in the middle and you have kind of the standard matchbox colors around. There is no clear plastic in this one. So there's no acrylics. There's nothing that I assume is harder to recycle. And this goes straight into the car itself. So I can touch the car and you can see the Roadster in all its glory. Um, through the box and it just slides out so the inner tray this tray here is recycled from bio-based material so I assume like potatoes and other things like that it does feel very very stiff but I know that they make cutleries like utensils with like potato or starch um, what is their message here home compost com compostable compost compost compostable <sighs> home compostable so yeah i'm done with this and i want to dispose of the packaging i can just throw it outside and it's apparently compostable compost compostable compostable sounds wrong either way maybe i'm not saying it right please tell me in the comments below check it out guys matchbox recycled 164 ratio tesla roadster um, from the from the looks of it, nothing else hugely impressive. Um, Tesla has this thing. One of the reasons why I didn't quite like Teslas is that the, the, the designs doesn't really stand out. You're not gonna turn. It's not gonna turn heads. Um, and I would assume the Roadster would have turned heads. But if you guys recall, like the original Roadster was kind of based off or looked very much like a Lotus. Um, but it doesn't look like a Ferrari or Lamborghini. It's not right in your face. The new Roadster is more pedestrian it just looks like a two-door model three um i guess the tail light's a little bit different as well and of course in real life it's a lot faster um but yeah oh, overall i'm liking it the bottom base of the car actually feels like the the this material here here um like the starch material it does feel 
<laughs> it does feel recycled, what I was trying to say. And what's at the bottom? Carbon neutral certified product, 2020 Tesla Roadster, uh, made from recycled materials, made in Thailand. So if you bought this Matchbox Tesla, I think it's going to be a very interesting key, um, collectible item just because the unique process of how it's made and I believe it could be um, the first part of an ongoing thing that Mattel is going to do with all or a lot of their cars moving forward. Obviously the image of sustainability is very very important. Action speaks louder than words so them continuing to do this would be great obviously for the future as well i'm all for it all right i hope you guys enjoyed that look into the matchbox recycle tesla roadster um it's a it's it's a very interesting car and i think it's something that definitely i will try to keep in my collection moving forward it's uh i think it's going to be a good beginning or a new start for matchbox as well if they kind of give off this image of their uh, eco-friendly company um, and all their products including their packaging is recycled i think that'll be a very good message um, but thank you so much for watching guys remember use code the 164 show in one word without any space for dots to get your 10 percent off with cobaltdisplays.com.au thank you so much guys take care bye